Virgo, how y'all doing? All right, so this is the weekly read. This is for July 13th through the 20th, 2019. What messages, what guidance do we have for July 13th through the 20th, 2019? Ooh. So black tourmaline, tourmaline, whatever. Tourmaline, tourmaline. All right. So let's see what we got here. I read this for, was it? I think it was Aries last week. I think it was Aries. All right, it says, black tourmaline absorbs negative energy and, and affords excellent energetic protection, enhancing your physical vitality. The understanding here is that you are adaptive, adjusting to new places and new situations. You have clarity of thought and analyze situations rapidly. Let go of overcautiousness, but stay protected. You sense it when people wish you ill. You may be carrying a family or past life curse, creating disease. Recognizing that negative thoughts and actions harm others and yourself. The divination here is to strengthen your protection, consolidate plans, and be realistic. You'll soon see the way through obstacles. Ensure you are well protected. Ill wishing or envy may be directed your way. Neutralize bad energy without harm to others. Watch your thoughts. Attend to practical matters. Be generous and give others freedom. The healing insight is to neutralize toxic energies from your environment. Shielding yourself from ill wishes or EMF stress and detoxifying your body supports well-being. The frequency is earth. The chakra is earth star and base. The timing is in Capricorn. And the soul path is appropriate energy shielding and enhancement. Some of you guys may need to block yourself from a Capricorn because the timing is Capricorn. All right, so... Let's see what messages we have here. All right. That could be sending some negativity your way. I don't know. So let's see what messages we have. This is for July 13th through the 20th. What messages do we have? Virgo, Sun, Rise, and Wing. This is for July 13th through the 20th, 2019. We're going from Saturday to Saturday. We're going from Friday. What messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Rise, and Wing? Messages, guys. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and This is for July 13th through the 20th. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Let's see what we got. Two of Cups here. Mm, this is a lot of relationships. Maybe forgiveness. Queen of Swords, yeah. This could be about forgiveness, especially with the Queen of Swords on it. This is about being discerning, creating a positive resolution here. Sunday here, I feel like that there will be some... You're, you're going to be trying to get some things done to, some of you guys could be dealing with Leo. This was their first card out. Trying to get some things done, trying to honor your commitments. You could be being watched. Ten of Swords. So by Sunday, there's the end of a difficult situation. Um, you could even be needing to embrace changes, expecting for things to get better. Monday here, you're romantic, romanticizing about the past. Tuesday, you're very much in your feelings with the Five of Cups, crying over spilled milk, not seeing a positive of a situation, feeling as though things did not turn out the way you'd hoped. I feel like it's fate here because with the Wheel of Fortune right after that, whatever didn't turn out the way you'd hoped moves you forward. Okay, fortune's on your side. It's a time of positive change, especially with the Six of Swords. You're moving towards something more balanced. You feel me? Um, by Friday, we got the chariot. So you could be moving toward a water sign, Cancerian energy, or you could just be finding the self-discipline and the willpower to move away from something that was not so good, and you're being recognized for that. So let's see what we have. Knight of Pentacles here for Saturday. Why do we have this Knight of Pentacles here for Saturday? There might be some responsibilities that need to be handled. Three of Swords here. You could be cutting away a situation or someone that you've been dealing with for a long time. You could have been an option. Several Cups. Someone else could be an option. King of Pentacles here. Temperance here. Yeah. It may be time for you to cut away a situation that you've been waiting for. Um, you've been dedicated and loyal to a situation. Page of Wands. Three of Swords. Someone may not have showed you their true colors. Now there's, there's a betrayal that you feel. Two of Cups about a relationship. Okay, so Ten of Swords here. This is the end of a difficult situation. You could be embracing changes, expecting things to get better. Some of you guys could even be recovering from an addiction. The Hangman here, this is about... So you're ending being in suspension, being at a lack. Some of you guys have been in suspension waiting for something to happen. Well, let me put my phone down. Every time it buzzes, it shakes, and I got it up. It's going to shake off the counter. So some of you guys have been in suspension, but now you're deciding to move in a new direction. Five of Pentacles here, you've been at a lack. You've been without. 
five of wands. Uh, you, now, for if this is about a relationship, five of wands with that five of pentacles. If you've been at a lack, someone's perspective has changed. It could be moving in, in, in a different direction. This is you need to embrace the change. It's time for you to move in a, in a different direction. Conflicts under here, emperor here. You could be putting an end to conflict. You could also be because with that seven of cups, for some of you guys, you're dealing with someone that's dealing with multiple people, multiple people, or you're dealing with multiple people, and you're putting an end to that, trying to recover from that. It could be a sexual addiction. So with the six of cups here, it says memories from your past or childhood issues regarding children. Three of cups here. So you could have been a third party here with someone that had issues involving children. Page of cups, eight of wands. You're wanting to move forward towards someone new. You're following your intuition, your your knowledge to move towards something new. Um, really wanting to work on ending that, ending the past tower. This is a revelation. So some of you guys, some of you guys may realize that you were in a third party. You may realize that there's someone new here. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. This could be someone new that you work with. Tower here. This could happen quickly. Five of Cups here. Something didn't turn out the way you'd hope. Why is this Five of Cups here? Four of Pentacles. You've been holding on to a relationship. Seven of Wands, resisting going toward anything new. You've been holding on, resisting, going toward anything new. Someone may have, be in love with someone else. Lovers here, Queen of Cups. You may be dealing with someone that's in love with someone else. It could be a water sign. So with the Wheel of Fortune here, there's a positive, positive, it's a time of positive change, Ten of Swords, the end of a difficult situation. The end of a difficult situation, embracing the change and expecting that things are going to get better. Monday and Tuesday, it does look like you're in this sort of, in your feelings. Um, by Wednesday, I feel like, Whatever had you in your feelings, the end of that, you're done being in this woe is me. You're at a crossroads here. You're no longer concerned and you're deciding to move toward fortune here. Virgo. Okay. Some of you guys could be moving toward a Taurus. All right. So we got these six of swords here. Things are looking up. It's the end of a difficult situation. This is Thursday. Some of you guys could be taking a trip. World card here. You could definitely be taking a trip. Two of wands, two of pentacles here. There could be some imbalances here. Seven of pentacles here. You're worried. If you're not taking a trip, there's an end of a cycle. There's an end of a relationship, the end of a difficult situation. You're at a crossroads here about how you're going to bring things together. Seven of Pentacles, you could be worried here. You could be happy, you could be unnecessarily unnecessarily worried um, about your decision. But the decision, Chariot, to move forward is a good decision. Some of you guys are actually moving. This is movement, movement. So we got the Six of Swords Chariot. Some of you guys could be moving like states, like travel for real. So why is this cherry here? This is an important achievement. Some of you guys, the achievement is that you have willpower now. Why is the cherry here? Will of fortune here, moving forward here, temperance here, king of cups. Some of you guys are moving toward a, uh, yep. You're deciding to cooperate with a water sign. Looks like cancerian energy. Most definitely. You're in love with cancer if you're moving toward a cancer. You've dealt with some, situ with some situations that were disappointing, but you're most definitely moving toward a cancer. So let's see what you're making a decision. All right. Let's see what messages we have. If not a cancer, this is someone that's just expressing their energy, but Cherry is cancer. <laughs> so let's see what messages we have. What guidance, what messages do we have? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance, what messages do we have? We got promise, the new moon. Someone made a promise. You didn't follow your instincts or someone now. You may realize that someone um, possibly made a promise based off instincts here. Lightning striking there. You're seeing clarity, seeing um, realization. You could also be following your instincts toward a new promise, a new moon, new emotions. That's all I got, Virgo. Until next time. Peace.